All right, welcome back to Brigandine. We're going to talk about Alan today. Hope you're having a good day and all that. Uh, let's cue the intro and we'll get right into it. And as usual, stay triggered. Pew pew. Pew. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, if you enjoy, definitely subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, but let's talk about Alan today and let's see what he's all about. So, honestly, I like Alan. He is, I know his stats don't show the greatest things here, but I turned him into a paladin. I know paladins are really good, but he's actually a pretty good paladin. So I know he's only got the three D and C, you know, three DC is essentially the just general blah, meh, knight, you know, out there. But you know, it's, um, I think he's a pretty good project knight. I don't say he's as bad as Teeth or Teth from Escalio in a previous game, but I have to say he's somewhat, um, he's somewhat along Ector's level. And I know some people don't like Ector, but I loved leveling Ector in the previous game. So I want to know what you think leveling this guy up. He, you can turn him into all kinds of stuff, which is perfect because right now as a fighter, he's already proficient. So this is the start of the game here. If I didn't let you know what, how, uh, I clicked on this, I just turn on this uh, starting game mode here and you can just see from project night level perspective this is what you're going to start with okay uh, let's talk about his character for a second and then we'll just kind of discuss a few little details and uh, wrap it up here but um all right so he's alan gender male age 20 class fighter a swordsman from a family that has always served as holy watchman having inherited his father's touch build and talent he's already powerful enough to lead his own unit still he worries he will be unable to adequately serve the royal family in these turbulent times nevertheless he casts all his doubts aside while on the battlefield by drumming up the courage with loud and spirited cries as he cuts through the enemy lines he it can be very very good this is pretty much i know there's veda out there and a lot of people like him as a mage or some interesting combo build or whatever but I gotta say Alan is kind of my like go-to project knight and maybe I'm more uh, a little bit drawn into the knight class okay probably but you got me there but I think I think he can be pretty good so essentially you get the swords you get the heavy armor you get the helmet and the ring you know for that he's already got re hit point recovery B so the reason I'm saying like you can do stuff with him is because you go to class you can see that we got the fighter stance here we can move up with that we can do that we can go to barbarian which I've done before which is pretty fun you can go down to barbarian route you can go down a thief route if you want um, you know we've got got some options honestly going from a monk into a paladin class is a pretty powerful way to go you can do things with alan you can do a lot of things with alan so honestly i think it's perfect because you're already getting the hit point recovery you can go down another route immediately cross class do what you want he's almost like what i would say in in uh yeah actors perspective i'd say he like he's like the perfect actor to be able to build him and do what you want with the guy make him something good but he's already proficient as a fighter so you can go down another route for five levels ten levels come back boom go back to paladin boom you got all your stuff set so what do you come with really right off the bat as a fighter you get the brave slash which is normal attack 105 power accuracy of five you know, just the normal basic, you know, basic stuff. Then we look at the power break, which is a pre-move, which means that you have to stand there for a turn. You cannot, you, you gotta stand in one space for a turn and then you can do this. It's 155 power. So basically power break, if you remember from the original one is the same as power stroke, uh, where they spin the sword around and like wham, and they hit the enemy with it. The only unfortunate side effect, which was probably the same in the original, is minus 25 accuracy. So it's really, really bad accuracy. You're going to have to pin the enemy in to be able to do this efficiently and effectively. Otherwise, you might be just wasting your time. I would rather just go with a Brave Slash if you're going to have like accuracy of 60 or something like that. If you want to gamble, <laughs> go for it. Um, but, you know, it's just something to... Uh, some, something to just think about, right? All right, so uh, you've got 
you know, and the other thing is the reason I went the monk route is to get the act the extra agility, which turns him into a fantastic fighter because you're starting at 63 agility, which is just okay. It's not that great, but if you put him into the monk class to at least get that plus five to ten percent accuracy boost with his hit point recovery B, put him back into the fighter class. His agility will probably be up into the 90s before you know it, and he'll be hitting everything with every kind of attack you want. So like a frontline fighter, uh, you could turn him in Dark Knight if you want, uh, with a mixture, put him with Rudo, uh, Dark Knight, and then Rudo, It'd be a killer combo. Honestly, Alan is one of my best favorite, pro He's I think he's my favorite Project Knight from Manus List of Theocracy. Uh, so... That's all I can really tell you about the guy. I mean, I'd like to harp on more and more about him. Uh, room power is just kind of sort of subpar right now. That'll grow. Uh, don't worry about that. But really, you're looking at more of a frontline leader that you're going to be building up. So think about a good project night. You kind of want to use him like Kill Off or Ector, or if you're going to do Lou Fall or Teeth or somebody like that, you know. You need a couple kills to get the engine running, and then once you get going, you get to level... I'd say level 11, then you can start to kind of like be like, okay, he's in the front line. I got a healer nearby. I think he'll be fine. And then he'll probably be good. Just try to give him some gear. And I think if you do it right, you're going to have a perfect project night to have fun with. All right. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely give a subscribe. That'd be great. And if you want to check out my other videos, they're all over the screen, on the top or the right, uh, wherever they're located. Uh, you can check out my other videos I'm going to have down below. I'm going to have some more videos coming out soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. Take care, guys.